Today I'm going to show you how to put together an edgeless screen. First you're going to take your BL along with your B and your BR. You'll be connecting the BL to the BR with the B. You take the B, turn it sideways, put the screws through the B. These are the number eight screws by one and a half length. Once you get all those through, then you're going to get some of the white spacers. You're going to take these and put one on each end of each screw. Then you're going to take the B, both hands, and roll it forward in one smooth movement. Then you slide it back until the screws drop into the pre-drilled holes. Take your drill and slowly drive them in until they're nice and tight. Do not over tighten them. Next, we'll be attaching our L to our BL, forming the corner. You want to slide your L up away where you can see the pre-drilled holes. Then place three of the white spacers directly on top of the pre-drilled holes. Then put three of the number eight by one and a half screws through the metal in the L. Lift it up, slide it on top of the washers, and then lower it down to where it falls and wiggle it so that it's into the pre-drilled holes. Line your frame up and then take your power screwdriver and drive them in nice and snug. Again, do not over tighten and strip them out. Now you're going to go attach your R to your BR in exactly the same way. Three screws through three plastic pieces. Now you're going to attach your TR to your TL using the T-bar. You do it exactly as you did with the B. You put screws through the T on its side, then the plastic spacers over the screws. Then with one motion, roll it forward into the pre-drilled holes and then tighten everything up with your power screwdriver. Then you attach your R to your TR to form the third corner exactly the way you did the other corner. Then you're going to attach your L to your TL to form the fourth and final corner exactly the way as you did the other corners. Now we're going to add our center bar C using an angle bracket with two screws. You put one screw through the angle bracket then through the C, add a nut on one side, and tighten with your power screwdriver. Then you're going to take another bolt, put it through from the bottom of B, up through the other hole in the corner bracket, put a nut on it, and then tighten with your power screwdriver. Then you go to the opposite side, the T side, and attach it exactly the same way. Now we're going to show you how to put in the one inch support plates. 
You have one at the B wood joint, the T wood joint, and the corners. They go in with four small screws across the wood joint to give it some strength and pull everything nice and flush. Once this is done, you want to lift the frame, lean it up against the wall to the side, spread out your material, then lay the frame back on the material and center it with all four corners correct. Now we're going to attach the material. You take one of the zip ties, slide a white bushing on it, slide it under the middle, put it through one of the grommets, and then back underneath the metal and then into the zip tie head. We're going to start this process near the B joint. You want to do two, maybe three on either side of the B joint. Then once we do this, we're going to move to the T joint and do the same thing. Now we are not stretching the material at this point. We are simply attaching it. You want to loosely attach it so that you can be sure everything is nice and centered up because if you were to start stretching and pulling hard on the zip ties now you could stretch the material toward one side or the other again do two or three on either side of the b and two or three on either side of the t Now we're going to move to the L, dead center of the L, right by the L lettering itself. Again, a zip tie with a white bushing on it, through the grommet, back underneath the metal, and then through the head, and then start it zip tying. But again, do not over tighten. Do about three, one to two on either side of the L, then go to the R, starting again in the center, and do the exact same thing. Then we're going to repeat this process until we have zip tied everything up with the corners last. Once you have all zip ties in place, you will go back to the B and start tightening. You add some tension to the two or three on either side of the B, then go to the T and add some tension, then go dead center to the L, dead center to the R, add tension, slowly working your way until you're to the corners. Once you have the material nice and smooth, the corners will be the last you finish because you're going to remove all wrinkles, all waves through the corners. You tighten everything up the last little bit. And then if you need to, the last two grommets in the corner, you can run a zip tie directly between one grommet and the other and snug it right around that corner. Then you end up with this nice, flush, smooth screen surface. You can see from the back of the screen that everything is nice and smooth and flat. At this point, you can clip off part of the zip ties.